Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and we're here to play Sewer Shark. Just listen to that audio. Beautiful, classic, 90s audio, video game audio. And this right here too, very memorable. Digital pictures. <coughs> This was when uh, Sega was trying to go into a different direction, Sewer Shark, and try to um, utilize the new and up and coming hardware technology, which was, uh, it was, wasn't that new, but it was probably like in de development somewhere in the 80s and didn't really come out to like late 80s or something like that. And it didn't really become cheap and affordable for people until like the early 90s. That's my main man. Yeah, that's a quote right there. And um, and uh, they 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 just wanted to take their take their system to a different level, take take their video game to a whole new level. And um, Nintendo also tried to do that too, from what I've seen on YouTube. But they did they just did not uh, put out there something happened. They just didn't do it. And uh, the the system actually had some very co cool games, um, a lot of good uh, animation games. I played two of them, but I can't remember the names. And um, this one, and Corpse Killer, and a slew of other games I rented from Blockbuster that had Sega CD games for rent, which Blockbuster is no longer around. This game just brings back so, so much memories because as a child back in the 90s having a Sega CD was like it was like uh, the coolest thing you know like as a kid it was like wow like look at this new technology. And I had the Sega CD that you were able to connect your Sega Genesis to it by uh, uncovering the little uh, side thing and just connecting to the Sega CD so you're able to put the Sega CD with the Sega Genesis and just make it one whole system. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. The sewer jockeys come and they go. But down here, this is the hole. I give you a name. A friend. A boss. And a reason to live. You're gonna owe me big dog meat. And what's my payback? A million pounds of tube steak. That's all you gotta deliver today, hot shot. You nail this one run, and we got a one way Corpse Kill is another game that I really especially like, though, the most. It just had an awesome title to it Corpse Killer. Maybe you're good enough, dog meat. Now this game, when I played this game as a kid, um, I didn't really understand anything. I didn't understand it at all. I didn't understand uh, the concept of what you're supposed to do. Um, I didn't. It wasn't until I watched a couple of videos before downloading um, the emulator to actually uh, make a full play of this game that I understood. Like you're supposed to follow the the arrows in the top, you know, and also try to shoot as much little monsters as you can. Uh, as much as you're able to. It's a no -brainer, Mr. Ghost. Something down this game is actually very out. challenging, actually. Well, you know, it's very fun, and it's a very playable, replayable game. Well, so much just like Sega, uh, uh, Sega Genesis, and Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2 and 3. No dog meat. Catfish needs a trip to Solar City worse than we do. Like the awful dark and scary down there, Mr. Ghost, and it's mouth terrible. We are go for lunch. Okay, ignition on three. Ready? Three! Hey, relax. Pretend it's a game. Maybe it'll even be fun. Shut the tubes, dog meat! Uh, catfish to ghost, we got a target acquisition down here. That right there, this looks like he looks so cool the way they did that. <laughs>
The critters yeah. at three, and so, three, yeah, you're just supposed to shoot. You know, see those arrows in the top. You're supposed to. It tells you um, the little floating android. Encore. I mean, the Let robots, go. whatever. Um, tells you which arrows to press um, to go in certain tubes and to follow. The ones that are yellow are supposed to be the ones you're supposed to go into, while the other ones are trying to trick you. Far. I would always end up dying, but the game was just uh, so fun to play so even though. Like right here, see? And you could also. Because um, you can also actually play the game blindfold. You don't you, you don't necessarily have to shoot the monsters. You know, I'll be, uh, because I think that there's tubes where they're electrical. You can go in there and you get recharged. Your energy is recharged. Recharge coming up. Look right there. Like I just showed you. See those bats. You see, like the game is actually very ingeniously well made. If you look at like just the design, the set design of the game itself, it's not. Uh, it's like a real set. You know, they had a small camera and they just pushed it through these tubes. And like, I, I mean, I don't even know how the hell they even did it because it doesn't show um, the open track of where the camera goes through. So it's like kind of a real ingenious thing that they did to cover up and make it look very fluid. There's all these bats around. You can tell that they use stop motion animation There's a whole mess of bogeys at bearing to um create the monsters, the little yellow um little monsters and the bats. Like very, very uh great uh creative aspect of, on their part. <clears throat> So they made this thing completely immersive and completely ori uh, um, original and real. They had real actors, you know, they had um, real performers to portray the storytelling and the gameplay to make it more engaging. And also to the, the Android right there. It's just everything about it was just like, I think they spent like, they spent a lot of money on this game alone. How like the ship kind of whooshes in the tubes, you know, kind of like it's just the, it, everything is just so well done. And see, this is still the first level. I mean, this is a long, 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 long level. You can tell that this is a completely different area because it's just more lighting and it's different.
And so I guess these these are the sewers of the future because they have lights in them. But these Hi you can't see this is it. I'm Commissioner Stenchler. You know that wasn't too bad, kid. You got real um real potential. And that guy right there, he's actually a well-known actor that was in previous feature films. Don't listen to him. He wants I don't know his name exactly. You're barely making it, pal. Push the envelope back a little. Turn and burn. Attention, sewer mart shoppers. We got a lovely assortment of monkeys, Barry. That's all you have to do, really, is just shoot. You know, I guess you just, you know, I guess that their job is just to go in there and to just clean up the riffraff um, rodents, bats, and those little mutated yellow monster rats. I don't know what they are. And that's what their job is in the game: is just to go in there and kill these monsters, clean up a little bit, I guess. There doesn't seem to be no fluids and no. Um, not, it doesn't, re doesn't represent a real sewer other than the fact that it's deep underground and it's uh, cylindrical um, tunnels. Okay. No sewage, no fluids, no water. I see my energy is going down, so. Uh -oh. I'll get more wild and more crazy about this. I guess he's like on the, on, on the, on the other side, like cleaning up too, I guess, or behind you or something, I don't know. See, in this game, I'm completely engaged in this game. This is a real fun game to play. Well, you heard her. Over and over. See, if you went down um, the wrong tunnels, those opening doors that you saw, you would have ended up crashing into them and dying, which is actually a pretty cool spectacle to watch. <clears throat> And just how they all film this is just very ingenious on their part. Uh 
always loved how the yellow rodents flew at you after you shot them. Come in, Falco. Oh, Falco's in Sector 19. That's a real dangerous kind of place. That's why I made it one of those uh, prohibition. Um, Prohibited access discretionary control zones. What she said. In other words, stay out of Sector 19. Get off my ship to ship channel, Stenchler. You're polluting the airwaves. I'm talking to dog feet there. Nice shooting. No kidding. You're a real, uh. Um... Yeah, you see, uh, I use classy words like that because, uh. I'm a totally, uh. Classy type guy! It's kind of fun. Compactors in Solar City, and we're not. You gotta take us all the way, kid. Your new call sign is Rat Breath. Turn and burn, Rat Breath. Well, it gave me a better name. Plus, I also feel that um, the, S the Sega version of the SNES would have probably been too early, and it probably would have been—I um, I, would have even thought as a kid—it probably would seem kind of inappropriate. You know, um, it probably just would have been better just to have it just like uh, just just until the, the, the Nintendo GameCube actually came out, because Nintendo actually came out with the Nintendo 4, which everybody knows, and still utilized cartridges, but the graphics were just as, just as cool. See right there, woo, woo. That's cool how they did that. Now these tunnels are very, these sewers are very hazardous. I mean, just look at these bats and, you know, it's like, um, you just, a human would just die down there, like, there's no way in hell you'll be able to, um, find your way out without being in one of these machines. Unless they had, um, other hatch doors or, um, passages to let humans go through. It's real, real genuine great acting on their part.
Jane dead. It's Falco Shepard. What's left of it? She's out there someplace. She's still alive. I can feel it. Catfish. <coughs> Scan for life forms and vector us in. Just keep us out of Sector 19. Shoot the tubes, Rat Breath. Like I said, they put a lot of work into this thing. There we go, that feels better. Way more challenging. control the maintenance moles and turn them into killers. That's what got Falco. I'm back. Look at me. I'm a surf god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to that human oil slick, kid. Oh, nasty business about Falco, eh? Hey, listen. Very, I'm very humorous and clever. Back there, rat rat. Good totals. Keep up the good work and who knows? Maybe I'll just keep an extra... Try red Waxed and waiting for ya! Surf's up, dude! Okay! You made it this far, just barely! But you better suck it in, pal! Things get much worse from now on! Catfish! Turn a course back to the garage! I got work to do. This is a cool cutscene right here. Alright! This is going to be way, way cool, buddy. First, I rigged up a pair of Thompson superchargers on the Hogs thruster coil. We got major boost now, my friend. But this, this is my baby. I call her Sweet Little 16. 16 barrels of fun for Mr. Mole and company. All right, let's get aboard. I want to try her out. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, fire! Whoa! You just took the door out, Ace! I'm flying with a menace to society here. Let's kick some old butt. Exterminator. Yeah, that's your new call sign. Prepare to launch for Sector 19. Turn and burn, Exterminator. Now looky here, Mr. Ghost. Now why don't we just forget about this solar shit? So now that is undeniably cool right there. Oh, my God. 
You look like almost like new to the scorpion. Stensler, we're already past the upper periphery of Sector 19. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, I'm just playing the game kind of enjoying it. to be a mindless tool of the commission. Oh no. I must see to it that she warms to the occasion. That's one terrible boss. <laughs> oh, that's good. The sun is just right for toasting marshmallows. It's a party. It's too bad you won't be able to come, suckers. Falco, I knew she was still alive. So we can't steer. Big deal. We can still shoot! We've got to try to save her! Your new call sign is Beach Bum! Let's make it happen! Turn and burn, Beach Bum! There we go. This game is very action packed. Very, very good. Due to um, the actual limitations, um, the game wanted to talk about the limitations of Sega CD. There was actually a lot of limitations because they're utilizing um, video recordings of the Was environment. Beach, scum? Those were only my <clears throat> and so they were not able to um, allow the characters um, in the game that you're playing as to kind of uh, be able to to maneuver around where they actually wanted to go and so ingeniously just like sewer sharks you needed to follow the certain um, ways to, to uh, progress in the game you know, to follow the right uh, sewer pipes so you would not die so it would give the uh, uh, kind of the illusion the actual illusion would probably be shooting the monsters which gives the illusion of actually being able to interact with the environment which actually you are not actually able to maneuver anywhere or interact just without uh, risking dying as a character. Turn and burn, beach bum! 
But either way, it's very engaging game. Stenchler on the ropes. Go for it, beach bum. Piping, they give um they're gonna give them slight changes and slight slight differences between from the first pipes that you're flying with them, giving you a uh, change of scenery, slight change of scenery. Which like logically kind of makes sense because the sewer pipe probably like I would say maybe like a hundred years old or something like that. So it's gonna have to be deep in the future. And so like um they probably would not um you know, redesign the sewer pipes like we do much in modern day. We don't really change our sewers in the cities. We maintain them, but we don't really change, uh, you know, the wallpaper or repaint or nothing like that much. So, uh, there's not that much changes in these sewer pipes, but they do have slight changes as you progress in the game. fly around and that's just like great animation even though they're stop motion is such they did such they did such a great job on just took so much action and uh little varmints at the shoot at oh yeah you're gonna be protected in there could have just search. walked around the damn door. Search for my last line of defense. What a beautiful concept. Rain-eating fireflies. Oh. Oh. 
Looks like uh, the Ghostbuster, uh, Ghostbuster Ghost Trap. But like a larger version. Get ready, Beach Bum! They're coming and they're coming fast! Waste them! Waste them! You know, the energy is like way dangerously low now as you progress more in the game. These little orbs and the little monsters I suspect drain your energy, so like that's basically your life. And back then, you had to use the Sega C controller. You know, which looked really similar to a regular Sega Genesis control, which you could you could use that, and uh, your thumb would have been nice sore by using the, the the control Next pad, stop. rolling around and Solar shooting City. these things. The sharks didn't stop them. They'll be coming for me now. This is this is such a great story what they have here. Great plot, great story, humorous, engaging. It's an unsung hero of games, I would say. I mean, look at that. <laughs> he has a hat on and a... <laughs> Dang, Solar City! That's real pretty underwear, miss. Oh. We made it, Beach Bum. He's there with everybody, that little Andre. Oh, my. Let's do that again. Sweet. All right, buddy. Welcome to Paradise. Such a great ending. I'll get you! Thank you all very much for watching my full gameplay of Sewer Shark for Sega CD. This is Richard Cespedes. And I'm so happy to share this game with you. And I'm so glad that you had the time to watch the full gameplay of Sewer Shark played by me, Richard Cespedes. It's a fun, um, awesome game that I experienced as a child. Awesome memories from the 90s. I never beat the game back then, but after playing it for a couple of months and off and on, just decided to make a full gameplay put on YouTube. Thank you all very much for taking your time to look at this video. <clears throat> and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. And I also recommend getting the emulators for Sega, SNES, and Nintendo. And just all the games from the past and just enjoy yourself and just play them and enjoy them. Make your own uploads of full gameplays. Enjoy, respect the past, like I said, respect the past, and people will respect the future, the present moment of where you're in. It goes both ways, my friend. Thank you all again. I had so much fun. I love sharing these memorable games with you and other cartoons that I have on my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe if you want. Thank you all. God bless. And this is Sewer Sharks, played by Ricky Cespedes. Bye.